Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. This will be brief and as you know, uh, being the character coach and coming to speak with you guys every week prior to your game, I'm trying to just uh, help equip you to be the men that, that you need to be and, uh, and that's what all of your coaches are trying to do. And so uh, this week's emphasis is on identity and for those of you uh, Fleming players who were at football camp this summer with us at Southeastern University. You heard our guest speaker talk about identity, about knowing who you are, and literally you need to know who you're not. And uh, I remember in that gathering of all the players from all the teams as we were gathered in that wrestling room when he said that one of the, the most important things that was ever said to him by a coach uh, many years ago when he was playing high school ball was that his coach said, you are not a football player. And, and it, let that kind of sink in. That's hard to, to grasp when you're a football player on the team, and, and that is your identity. He said, if you are a football player, there's going to come a day when you're not playing football, and then you're going to struggle with who you really are. And so if you remember what he said, he said uh, he had to learn that phrase, I am not a football player, but I am a man who plays football. That's different. Your identity is in who you are as a man, who you have been created to be, and you happen to play football, therefore you give your best, you do your best, but there are going to be many avenues of life that you will be investing in for the remainder of your life. I'm, I'm reading a book by Coach uh, Mark Richt. Uh, many of you know uh, he coached at FSU, but head coach at University of Georgia and at the University of Miami, played quarterback at the University of Miami. And, and I just want to read to you something here that, that became very um, important to him as a coach, and I believe really speaks into this concept of identity. Yeah. Coach Rick would say each offseason, either in the spring or summer, I always made a point of leading our players in some kind of character educational emphasis. I'd done it ever since I became a head coach. And he says sometimes he could tell that guys were thinking, why do we need to do this? This doesn't help us win games. But Coach Rick says he believes it did, and I believe it does as well, and so do your coaches here at Fleming Island. Coach says, I cared about them. I knew and loved their families as well, and I knew part of the reason that their sons were entrusted to us as their coaches was to help develop their character at this critical phase in their lives. You've heard every coach at Fleming Island say when they're coaching you up in football that it is about football, but it's more than football. These are life lessons. So when we're talking about identity, I want to read to you what Coach was referencing here. Coach Rick says he um, is, he's met with a, a pastor in Dallas, Texas, a pastor of a large church there who at one point served as a chaplain of the Dallas Cowboys as well as the Dallas Mavericks. And this pastor speaks of the need, here's how he puts it, every, every man must progress through the three hoods, as he calls them. The first hood is malehood. Malehood's a made-up word, but he says this, Malehood is simply your sexual identity, your gender, the particular body parts that you are born with, the ones that make you different from a female. The second hood is boyhood, which is described as being marked by immaturity, irresponsibility, and a high level of dependence on somebody else to take care of you. And though uh, each of these terms may sound negative when you first hear them, there is nothing wrong with recognizing the reality that we all must mature through this. All of us are a little immature and irresponsible and dependent on others, especially as kids. And you, as high school, uh, high school students, you are maturing through this, so that's fine. But here's the problem, and here's what Coach Rick says. I said to our team that summer, it is okay for you to be a boy when you're about five or six years of age. It's okay to be immature, irresponsible, and dependent, but not when you're this age, especially not when you're 28, 29, 30. Sometimes guys don't grow up, they just grow older. And, uh, and so what is being poured into you, what is being taught to you through this concept of identity is this idea of manhood. And manhood's not a dirty word, it is actually, as this pastor said, it means that you are at the point where you're going to take care of business. You're going to do what needs to be done. But you're going to do it because of who you are. And if you don't know who you are, you won't be able to do what needs to be done. Simply put, as a football player, you have roles and responsibilities. And nobody on the team can do everything that is necessary to win a game. You understand this. You're on a team. You understand team sports. You understand football. You understand positions. But you also understand that your identity is not, well, maybe you don't understand this. You need to understand this. 
Your identity is not in what you do, but it is in who you are. We believe that your identity is, is created by one who created you in an image of himself. I hope you get this, and I hope you think about this. If you have more questions, you want to talk more, I'll be glad to talk to you more about it. But know who you are. Know who you are not. Remember our speaker back at camp. You're not just a football player. You're a young man who plays football. And that's important to understand.